Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're returning to the topic of the Psalms and their meaning. Now, a brief disclaimer before getting into this psalm. The psalms will be numbered differently in different translations of the Bible. This is a very, very old discrepancy. And to help clear things up, I'll be explaining what number the psalm has in the Douay Rheims Bible and in the Revised Standard Version. However, the episodes themselves will list psalm numbers as they're given in the Douay Rheims Bible. Sorry if this is confusing. Anyway, this is Psalm 66 in the Douay Rheims Bible, but Psalm 67 in the RSV. Unto the end, in hymns. A psalm of a canticle for David. The words canticle, hymn, and psalm all refer to songs of worship. May God have mercy on us and bless us. May he cause the light of his countenance to shine upon us, and may he have mercy on us. The light of God's face gives people life and good fortune, but people are doing evil when he turns away from them, as in Psalm 32. That we may know thy way upon earth, thy salvation in all nations. God's mercy gives people the chance to learn how to do the right thing and obey his will. Let people confess to thee, O God. Let all people give praise to thee. Let the nations be glad and rejoice, for thou judgest the people with justice and directest the nations upon earth. Everyone in every country should worship God, because he's just and good, able to give whole countries the guidance and justice they need. Let the people, O God, confess to thee. Let all the people give praise to thee. Everyone should praise and express faith in God. The earth hath yielded her fruit. May God, our God, bless us. May God bless us and all the ends of the earth fear him. We want the blessings of God without which we can't even grow food for ourselves. Everyone in the world should respect God and try to avoid sinning against him. This, as usual, is what's meant by fearing God. Not terror, but a fear of offending God and a great respect for him. This psalm isn't long and devotes itself mainly to praise for God, appreciation for the good he does, and assurances that God deserves praise and admiration. There are some minor appeals for mercy in the psalm as well, but those are kept somewhat vague and don't take away from the main topic, God himself and his goodness. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.